I've been to Rania, Iraqi Kurdistan, and that was a, um, a few years ago with the Echoes of Peace singing delegation. This experience of people-to-people -people engagement and experience has been, um, it's been profound for me, simply for the purpose of um, building friendship, um, having cultural exchange, especially with um, a number of our sister cities that, that are places where we've had a history of war and conflict. And, and so there comes this opportunity through Michelle Nar Obed to build a relationship with, uh, in Kurdish Iraq, right on the heels of the, of the Iraq war, in the, in the minds of a part of the public. Uh, the Islamic world is, uh, is disregarded as a, as a huge threat, and uh, we mustn't, must not embrace them in any way. These uh, Iraqi Kurds, uh, it was, our first visit there was very much like the first visit to Petrozavodsk. The people would embrace us, uh, and you know, th this was just the greatest thing that could ever happen in their lives and uh, so grateful for the visit. And, uh, you know, we, we try to say, you know, the, the, the benefit really is to us. We're the people who are uh, having our, our eyes open to the kind of world we live in. I think that it's terribly important uh, for the peacemaking mission of this organization that we have at least um, some attention focused on the Middle East. The fact that we are there and being there gives us some sense of the issues involved and the reality of the humanity of all the people uh, connected with the Middle East. And I think that's very important for us people in northern Minnesota.